How's your hammer, everybody? I'm PT Devil and F everything! <laughs> Sorry about that, I just felt like I had to get that out of the way early because today we're attempting my very first ever Pokemon Nuzlocke. Now, if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, I envy you for having a completely stress-free childhood. But in case you didn't know, a Nuzlocke is a series of self-imposed rules that you can do in a Pokemon playthrough. There are a lot of rules, but the main one to consider is that every time your Pokemon faints, faints, it is considered dead. And when a Pokemon dies, it cannot be used in, a, used in the playthrough again and must be either boxed or released. Now, I have never attempted a Pokemon Nuzlocke before, mainly because I'm a sensitive bitch and don't want my creatures taken away from me. But I've been watching a lot more, more Pokemon Challenge playthroughs lately, and that got me into wanting to try some of my own. But I feel like I can't really start in any until I try the original. So we're going to do our first ever Nuzlocke. And I don't think it's going to be too bad because I tend to be very cautious when I play Pokemon. But I've been wrong about before and saying that out loud. I'm pretty sure this is going to uh, be completely terrible. So let's go. Cards on the table. I am using a randomizer on, or on this emulator because I wanted to get rid of the trade ev evo the trade evolution mechanic, but that is the only thing I have changed. Everything else, else aside from this random Easter egg should be perfectly normal. I don't know how that happened. I don't know why that happened, but, and, but that happened. And we're just gonna go with PT because honestly, why the f not? We don't need, need, to, need to do the whole world of Pokemon intro. We've We've seen this, this a million time, times before. Rectum, sweet rectum. And a lot of this is just going to be boring tutorial stuff, so... What time... I want to make match what time it is, is during the recordings. I think that's correct. I kind of suck at analog, but it's close enough. <laughs> got Professor Birch running from the frickin' level 2 Zigzagoon. So when I first randomized this just to test it out, the starters were the only thing I changed and these are back to normal so I know everything things should be fine. So now for a starter, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go with Mudkip just because I, I need something to, to handle Watson and, and I and that ground down type, type coverage is going to help me out here. Yeah, this this shouldn't be too bad. But even if I do, I lose. Lose it. Lose, the nuzlocke hasn't officially started yet. So actually, I should probably take advantage of this. This and try I and grind. I and do some grinding before before the permadeath. Right, we got our starter now. One of the rules of the nuzlocke is I have to nick. Ignate in my Pokemon, so I have no idea what I'm gonna nickname this. I almost never nickname my Pokemon because I suck at it. Uh, let's just go with Kipper. Make it look look at least a little bit better. I told you I'm not good with names, and so expect a lot of really lackluster name names in this playthrough. I try, I, I boosting my level level just a bit, so that I don't on it on end up getting some like stray crit that just uh, obliterates my I I mud kip. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll be back in just a minute. Uh, Zach, just do some sort of of t cool time lapse thing like just like more than just as cool music or anything just like really add some some special effects up uh, uh, make that time lapse look like really good i mean like really good uh, and, like i don't know how you're gonna do it but i i'm putting putting my putting my faith in you i'm putting putting the in the 
I'm putting the future of my channel into your hands. You are responsible for or exactly how good or bad this video turns out. So I'm 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 counting on you to, to not let me down. <laughs> Okay, shutting up. Alright, Zach, you let me down. Okay, but the good news is, is I man managed to get at my mudkip up to level 9. It should uh, get it up to level 10 pretty shortly. I feel confident enough up, up with a level 9 kip up to be able to, able to get this show on the road. Assuming I can get stop getting these wild encounters. <laughs> All right, May. Let's time for our first rival battle. Again, and I'm I'm fairly confident that my level nine mudkip is just gonna obliterate this Trico. I might even be able to outspeed this Trico, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, I, uh, Kip, Kipper is just faster. And he leers ears for no damage, and this should kill it. Yep, there it goes. Bye. Thanks for your 69 experience. Yeah. And we learned Water Gun, our first stab move. Now, it uh, looks like we might be able to start this Nuzlocke pretty, pretty soon. And I believe I get at my, my first balls just as soon as I get back. Actually, wait a minute. I almost I almost forgot. This guy... I forgot this guy gives you a potion. And that's probably going to come in handy to save my ass a, ass a few times. Who knows? I might I get O-code by everything in from here on out. Alright, we got the Pokedex. And I believe May gives us our, our balls. Yep, we got our balls. The Nuzlocke is now officially on. So I better not let Kipper die. The next rule in in the in the Nuzlocke is that on every single location I can only catch the very first Pokémon I encounter. If I fail that encounter, I do not get any second chances. That encounter is, is lost. But I do have an optional addendum to that active called Dupes Claws, where if I, my first encounter is one that I've already caught before, I'm allowed to uh, try that at, at one again until I get something new. This obviously won't apply to this first one since I don't have anything, but at the very least, he's, we, whatever we get, at, we can eliminate that in future encounters. Let's see what we got here. Our first encounter is a Wurmple. Okay, that's not great, but at least I, I guess it eliminates. It has a, I'm gonna use not very effective hits. Just, oh, I weaken. It has shield dust. And I need to go to, go to my bag. And get my balls, whip my balls out. All right, got our Wurmple. Yeah, yes, I gotta nickname it. Um, I'm gonna name you. Sticky. Because it does. I honestly don't know why. That's just the first thing that popped in my head. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my encounter up here on Route 103. Hope, hoping to, hopefully I can enact dupes claws. And it's a Poochiena. See, Mud Slap should be weaker than Tackle. Ooh, yeah, but. No, okay, that, that should be enough to catch a level three Poochiena. One, two, three, and we're good. Don't know why I was nervous, but... And now, I'm I'm gonna uh, give you a very important name. 
One very tr close to my heart. Nip. Named af after my very first dog, a hog that I can remember, a, a beautiful black lab who was oddly hydrophobic for a black lab, <laughs> which was kind of an odd, odd one. Hopefully this name will live on, on and bestow on me some, some luck. I'm actually going to go in and heal real quick. Now there's still a couple doop oop duplicates over here on this route that I want to try avoid so I'm gonna try and I and wait and avoid the grass for the time being till I can get to the next route and hopefully catch something that can block out some of these dupes but in the meantime I gotta fight this bitch all right what a gun Let's see what a well that was quick good game good game good game I think I'm actually gonna switch train for. I'm not using this Wurple in my team, but I kind of want to see what I can get Ed out of it, just in case. Bring out the Kip and win one for the Kipper. I regret everything. Oh, it lived. It survived the water gun, even though the Poochiena did not. Well, it's not surviving this, so... This one lives, too. I'm... I'm impressed. Wurmple, surprisingly resilient, so... Hey, yo. They were both beginners, but I think one of us, uh, us is severely less of a beginner. I don't know why I'm, I'm switch training a Pokemon that I'm absolutely not, not going to be using. I just... I just want to know, that's all. It's just one of those things where I, I have to know what it is going to what it would have been. And we're at level 11. We haven't even reached Petalburg yet and we're already he, he passed double digits. Kipper's getting a little low, but thank, thankfully I know there's a Poke, Poke Center just up ahead, so... And I don't think these level 4 Zigzagoon are going to be he, doing any significantly huge amounts of damage. Might actually leave Sticky in to, to fight this. It just got Poison Sting after all, so it's got super effective hits on this this thing. Might as well see yeah, how this goes. Oh yeah, that, Sticky's got this. Yep, that, that Shroomish is dead. That's a dead Shroom. Dead shroom walk in here. And poison should KO it from that range. We're we're in the clear. Now we can get the at that much needed heal. Alright, now let's get get through the catching tutorial that we absolutely don't need to do. And lucky bastard finds a Ralts on the first try. Hi, because bullshit. Uh, just catch the damn thing. Let's get on with it. Finally, Jesus. How does this guy I actually end, end up being competent? This is so competent later. All right, now let's go ahead and head up up here and and try and grab an encounter. Thanks, asshat. All right, now let's see what we get. We got in here. Am I gonna get anything in here? Where the hell's all the Pokemon? Okay, there we go. A Meryl. That doesn't help my dupes claws thing, but that doesn't actually help anything. And now I think about it, what, what the hell? All right, that's gonna be good enough because I can't deal with that. That anymore. Hopefully, hopefully under half is enough to catch this thing. Now maybe catching the barrel will come in will act, let me get dupes claws later. All right, what are we gonna name this freaking rat? Uh, 
Um. Uh. Uh. Ball. I. I just. I don't give two rat about the Esmeral, so I'm not gonna put that much thought into its name. Alright, well that that didn't help anything, so might as well. So I'm just gonna have to hope for the best. Hope we get something good out of here. A low tad, I'll I'll take a low tad. I'll low tad is fine. Let me try just tack. Yeah, it should be fine. Especially... Uh, not on a hundred percent act. What a crit! How did a crit kill that? Oh. Yeah. Well, there goes my first failed encounter. I'm actually gonna stock up on Pokeballs because I'm. I'm starting to run low even with that fail. <sighs> well, that's mildly annoying. You. I'm pissed off, so I need something to, in the vent too. Yeah, go ahead and drop my attack, uh, attack all you want. Here's a special move right in your face. Oh, it lived. All right, so I guess it wasn't quite an OTK, but still. Yeah, I think Sticky should be able to handle this as long as I don't don't get stupid. I think I outspeed. Yeah, I outspeed. Because buy does not increase priority in this gen. So as long as I outspeed, he can't touch me. Yep. I'm just gonna string shot you and wait out, out the turns. I could probably have, have killed him, but just in case. And the poison will, will finish him off. Okay. Yep, Sticky was able to handle that. Not that it matters since I'm not gonna be, probably not gonna be using this. And that should be enough to at least let me see what I, I get out of it. Alright, is it going to be Silicoon or Cascoon? I still can't tell like this. And it's a Cascoon. All right, yeah, I don't have anything I need to train, so... And Mudkip's already sufficiently strong as it is. I should be able to find something in the Petalburg Woods, so... Since I, since I already caught Wurmple, everything... All the freaking bugs will be Duke's Claws, so... I, I can get something good out of there. Hopefully a shroomish. I, I, I'm I going to need, need a fighting tight at some point. So, shroomish, getting shroomish would be ideal. Alright, let's, let's see what I get. And it's a Talo. Alright, well, it's still the best encounter I've got on thus far. So... It's something. It breaks out. What the hell? Got MVP Taylor over here. Boy, he's cracked. He's <laughs> got no... Finally! Tough old bird. Well, small, very courageous. Hang on. Okay, I, I know what I'm. I'm gonna. I know what I'm gonna call all you. I'm gonna call you Captain. 
And my grandfather's parrot is, is also a mean, anal bird. So welcome to the team, Captain. Um, now I gotta uh, grind you up some more. Time lapse! It only just occurred to me after I got Otten Taylor up to level 10 that I should have trained it in the Petalburg Woods. I'm a big dummy. And just like that, Captain just dominates the, fr the first trainer. Oh no, he's still got uh, one more. Counting is not on my strong suit, apparently. But this one should go down um, just as easily, so... Same result. Yeah, I wish I'd found a shroomish, but... Alright. Well... As usual, Kipper should just completely obliterate this guy. Oh, level 9. Well, maybe not a complete obliteration, but I still don't think there's much he can do. Ooh, that was a critical hit. That was a critical hit. <laughs> this is gonna be a, a cakewalk. Yeah, he led with Ninkata, I knew it. I knew it was gonna be. That's why I didn't bother switching, since I could still hit it with super effective. Dams. I think the defense is gonna be better on Kipper than, than Captain anyway, so. This is still Route 104, so I can't and, and get at the encounter or just up there, so I get Bullet Seed, which is useless without a Grass type. Since Sticky rudely killed, killed that at, at Low Tad with a crit it, it tackle, even though by all, all by by all means it should not have KO'd even with a crit. I suppose the good news is I don't necessarily need grass type coverage. I don't think. I only wanted the Breloom because it was a fighting type. And I'm gonna need that for, for Norman, I think. Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Thanks, Kaiba. Can you please fuck off? Not enough to Oko. Okay, we're out of Oko territory, so. Another grind session might be in order pretty soon. Switch captain in. Because this bitch uses grass types. Oh, live the pack, but... Ain't living the next one. I just realized... I was about to face a double battle... With not my I team... Team. Alright. That was a, that was almost embarrassing. Peck should just Oko the low tad. And I don't want to attack the seed on unless I'm sure I can Oko oh it. This is probably playing it a bit over safe, but it's a friggin' Nuzlocke. I don't want on any surprise deaths happening. Yep, that that just that would have Oko'd at it, it at any time. Alright, I gotta get some more levels on Kipper, because I have no nothing else, else, nothing against, nothing to handle rock types other than Kipper, so he's gonna need to pretty much solo this thing. Useless magic carps are done and no more. Right, so that's the end of this this route. Let me go ahead and get at a heal in, just to get back up to full. And I'll backtrack because I don't want to get any encounters just yet. Shouldn't be too bad, but I do not want to take any risks because I have. I have super effective damage, but if Kipper goes down, 
I'm pretty much boned. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and do the extra grinding. Uh, Zachary, it is time for the time lapse. Kipper up to up to the probably over safe level of 15. I also got a couple levels on Captain while I was out grinding, but this should be enough to deal with Roxanne at least. Because what I realized while I was grinding is that uh, all of Roxanne's moves on the only Pokemon that is not quad resist to the quad weak to water rather are are Tackle and Rock Tomb, both of which have low accuracy normally. So, if I just start off with Mud Slap instead of Water Gun, I should be able to uh, uh, deal with this fairly easily. But first I gotta clear out these gym trainers, hold on. That Kipper should just owe, co owe this quad weak Geodude with a single Water Gun. And down it goes. Uh-oh. This might have been a mistake. I forgot about uh, multi-battles or a thing. Well. This could be a problem. Alright, I'm, I'm going to play defensively. I can't hit you, but I'm not going to let you hit me either. And who would have thought Growl would be potentially saving my ass this early on in the playthrough? And I'm pretty sure I just win. I just win now. Well, that was a hard attack I didn't need, but hey, at least Captain got some experience out, out of this gym. I didn't think he'd get uh, uh, to take part in it. Oh, Kipper is evolved. I'm gonna have a Marsh Tomp going into uh, fighting Roxanne. That is hilarious. Alright, well. At least now I know I can win, because cause now, now, now that Kipper is a ground type. I can body those those rock type moves. I'm actually gonna keep Mud Slap just because I want the guaranteed accuracy drop for this fight. I probably won't keep it for very long, but I don't want to mess with my strats. Okay, so this should be an easy fight now. Going into the, the fight with Roxanne with a middle evolution starter already. No, I'm not gonna change Pokemon, I'm just gonna sweep this shit. Alright, now time for the big one. A little dancy man no who's past. Start with Mud Slap to get the, those accuracy drops. De actually did a lot more than I was expecting, I gotta say. And now he's starting to bol bolster his defense. Ooh, a crit Mud Slap. But she's just gonna heal it anyway. Or her berry's gonna heal it. 
see. I think Water Gun should KO for the uh, she healed anyway. Okay, Water Gun did a lot. There was no point to any of that. Sweetheart, the Nose Pass is going to die. I'm pretty sure Water Gun is just a straight two hit KO. Or if not, it's just barely out of range from here. Nope, it's dead. All right, good game, Roxanne. All right, we got our first bat edge on the Nuzlocke already. Haven't gotten any anything in bat and had any deaths. Unless you count that stupid crit at low tad, which I would prefer not to for my sanity. But anyway, I think that's going to go and do it for this episode. I, uh, I won't, don't want the, these episodes to be too long, otherwise Zach's going to hate me for sending in these massive files to work on. Too late. So far, we're one unbadged down and we, we haven't gotten any deaths. I think this is doable. I think I can do this. Partially because I'm overleveled and I intend to keep it that way, but you know what? So be it. I'll take the extra grind time if it means I don't have to let any of my pets die. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like it, feel free to sacrifice a goat to Cthulhu and pray for my imminent demise. But thank you for watching. Until next time, don't get run over. I'll see you guys later. Man, Kipper is just pulling out all the stops lately.